I am Father Derek from the Diocese of Kamloops, and I have a spiritual tip for you. And it's from Matthew chapter 5, verse 20. And Jesus says, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of God. And I can only imagine the the people who heard this, who look up to the scribes and the Pharisees, thinking, oh my goodness, these people follow the law to the nth degree, just every little detail. And they say, how in the world am I going to end up surpassing them? It would be impossible. But Jesus had a different idea. Just maybe the background of this is almost like the Ten Commandments, which is love of God and love of neighbor. The first three commandments are in the love of God. The last seven are deal with the love of neighbor. And they're basically like the house. And so you have the house, and then what the Pharisees and the scribes and the leaders wanted to do, they wanted to protect the Ten Commandments. So they put a fence around it, like the white picket fence here, to protect the house. But what was happening, and you can call that the secondary law, which would help, uh, help us to keep the first law, that is the primary law, the Ten Commandments. And so what was happening is that the secondary law, the fence, became more important than the house. So they would have a beautiful white picket fence and the house is falling apart, which was like, it's totally missing the point. And so you can only imagine these people when they say, oh my goodness, I could do all these extra laws to protect the Ten Commandments. Do I, do I have to add more laws? Do I have to even be more rigorous in keeping the laws? Maybe I have to put a third fence around. That was their mentality. But Jesus said, no, 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 no. What you have to do is not necessarily build another fence or make more laws, but rather shift, from the like the Beatitude, from not only do I have to follow the law, but a shift from I have to to I want to. And that's why Jesus gave us the Beatitudes in chapter 5 of Matthew. Beatitudes. You have to have the Beatitude, the right attitude behind the law. So not only do I have to follow the law, but I want to. Not only do I have to honor my father and mother, but I want to. Not only do I have to keep the Sabbath day, but I want to. So when I get to the point where I want to do it, I don't even need the law anymore, understood correctly, because why do I need a law to tell me not to kill my neighbor when I wouldn't even want to do it? And so we have to have the right attitude, the right spirit. When do we receive the spirit? In a very special way at baptism, which makes us the children of God. So we shift from slavery, like slaves of God, to children of God. Are we slaves because we have to follow the law? Or would we have the right attitude, the spirit given to us at baptism, where we want to follow the law?